With Kisame in custody of the Ninja Alliance, the Yamanaka clan uses their mind control ninjutsu to read his mind and figure out as much as they can about the Akatsuki, including Kabuto's ability to summon many more Edo Tensei ninja, including the real Madara. Thanks for checking out my channel. This is part 23 and will cover the new reanimated ninja joining the war. So remember as always to like, comment, and subscribe so you can help the channel keep growing. And if you want to see this series from the start, check out the playlist on my channel so you can be up to date on everything that's happened so far. That's enough setup. Let's get back to the action. Look around. Try to find the people who stand out. The faceless crowd. Lost and found. Picking up on the speed of sound to faster ground. Moving on. I can't hold back all the new progress. What I've done best. But how about now? Showing off all of the things we missed. All your interests. The information the Yamanaka clan steal from Kisame leads to the Ninja Alliance scrambling to figure out who the masked man's true identity is, since they are still unaware of who Obito Uchiha is. But without knowing the exact location of Kabuto, they are unable to send any help to Itachi and Sasuke at the moment. But lucky for the Alliance, Orochimaru was able to reanimate the former Hokages and is racing back to the fight, hoping to turn the tide of battle. Orochimaru explains the situation of Madara teaming up with several strong ninja and starting a war to capture the tailed beast, and breaks the news to the fourth Hokage about Naruto's involvement. Minato is saddened by the way things turned out for his son, but promises to fix this mess with the help of the other Kage. Orochimaru tells them to head straight for the fight and they will all arrive in a few hours, but apologizes that he must make one more stop before rejoining them. Back with Kabuto, he has finished his preparations to revive Madara Uchiha and is ready to send him to the battlefield. He uses one of the Edo Tensei ninja he is controlling to summon Madara close to Obito in pain. Obito is surprised at seeing Madara, considering he told Kabuto not to summon him. Obito thinks to himself, I bet this is another power play by Kabuto. He's probably trying his best to make sure he comes out ahead of me. But, Obito continues playing his part, greeting Madara and explaining the situation. Welcome Madara, it's been a long time he says, as Madara asks, why have you brought me back like this? Has the plan gone awry? No Madara, the plan is fine, I guess my followers just couldn't be patient enough and wanted you here now. But, we just need one last tailed beast to complete our mission. Madara looks over at Pain, realizing he is the one Obito gave his Rinnegan to, and introduces himself. Then, notices Naruto and the Ninetales chakra inside him. Is this the boy you brought to me all those years ago? He's grown very strong I see. Obito agrees, praising Naruto's strength and emphasizing how vital he is to the current plan. Obito then hopes Madara won't say anything to possibly ruin the secrets he's been keeping, but lucky for him, Madara is smart enough to play along, saying, I want to see what the young boy can do, and now that I'm here, this war is all but over. So boy, go down there and show me what you can do with that nine tails. Naruto is hesitant and looks to Obito for answers, but Obito agrees, despite not wanting any of them to fight. He tells Naruto to be careful, but other than that, he can kill whoever he pleases. We will keep an eye on you and step in if needed. Naruto nods his head and races down to the battlefield as Madara talks to Obito. If your plan is this far ahead, why haven't you sealed the Nine Tails in the Gido statue? Obito assures him that once the Eight Tails is captured, Naruto will give them the Nine Tails willingly, so there's been no need to kill him before then. But Madara warns him not to get too attached, and says Naruto's not the only loose end that needs to be tied up, as they watch Pain, who is keeping an eye on Naruto for them. I hope you can handle this yourself, Obito, Madara says as he walks away, ready to watch what Naruto can do, and Naruto doesn't disappoint. He makes 10 Shadow Clones, then enters his Nine Tails Chakra mode and starts wreaking havoc on the Ninja Alliance, rushing through waves of ninja as the five Kage are busy fighting several reanimated ninja elsewhere. As nobody stands a chance against him, Naruto slashes and tears the Alliance ninja apart and roasts them with huge blasts of fire. While the Ninja Alliance scramble to counter Naruto, a still injured Inoki sees Madara standing on the mountain watching the battle unfold. 
Anoki tells the rest of the Alliance his location and to watch him carefully because whenever Madara enters the fight, he could end it faster than we can react. And with Onoki's warning, the five Kage try to make their way back to the front line, knowing it may take all of them to deal with the legendary Uchiha. Naruto is then confronted by a ninja with the Sharingan who promises to stop him before he hurts anyone else. Obito sees the standoff, thinking to himself, I wonder how well Kakashi will do against the kid. I doubt he can match Naruto's sheer strength, but the experience of Kakashi can't be underestimated. Naruto calls back most of his clones, but leaves a few to keep anyone from interfering as Obito calls out to Naruto. If you kill that ninja, I'll answer some of the questions you've been asking me. This instantly gets Naruto's attention as he decides to go all out in order to get the answers he needs from Obito. Naruto sends out a chakra tail to grab Kakashi, but Kakashi quickly summons a couple clones of his own and uses a lightning technique to slice the nine tails chakra and rush towards Naruto. Naruto blasts one of the clones with a fire style attack and blasts the other with a strong kick, but the clone explodes into a thunder shock, momentarily stunning him. Kakashi then leaps out of the ground, kicking Naruto into the air before blasting him with a lightning fang attack. Naruto is hurt, but the Ninetales Chakra protects him from most of the damage and he sends one of his clones to attack Kakashi from behind. But with his Sharingan, Kakashi is easily able to dodge it and crush it with a falling mud wall. Kakashi then surrounds Naruto with a mud wall as well, hoping to trap him until more help arrives. But Naruto easily bursts out of the attack and tries grabbing Kakashi again with his Chakra. Kakashi is impressed with the kid's strength and speed as he is now barely able to dodge Naruto's attacks. Kakashi tries thinking of a plan, but Naruto gives him no room to breathe. Naruto sends out a gust of wind that hits and allows him to grab and slam Kakashi into the ground. Naruto then leaps forward while shooting another huge fireball. Kakashi has no other option than to use Kamui to save himself and hopefully win the fight. Obito sees the attack and warns Naruto to get out of the way just as Naruto's attack is sucked inside. Naruto uses the Uzumaki clan's adamantine chains he learned from carrying, sending them into the ground and pulling himself away from Kakashi's deadly jutsu. Obito and Madara are impressed Naruto learned to use another powerful jutsu like this as he once again grabs Kakashi but this time with his chains. Naruto thinks to himself, I was hoping to save these for someone else, but that Kamui looked like bad news. It even had Obito worried. But the fight is over, he won't be able to escape now. Naruto walks over to Kakashi and knocks him out with a hard punch, and as he is about to bring Kakashi to Obito, another voice calls out, Naruto, stop. Naruto is surprised that the voice doesn't seem angry, but concerned as he turns around and sees a reanimated ninja standing in front of him. Naruto, I know you don't know who I am, but I'm your father. You need to stop this before it's too late. Naruto is shocked by the man's words as he drops Kakashi. What? You're lying. Who are you? Naruto says in a shaky voice. I'm Minato Namikaze, the fourth Hokage, and your father. I'm here to save you. So that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you made it this far remember to like, comment, and subscribe so you can see whenever I post. Also check out the rest of my channel and come back next Sunday to see what happens next. Thanks again for watching, I'll talk to you all next time.